Hello, friends, and welcome to Family Storytime. My name is Emily, and I'm an associate librarian at the Franklin Hennepin County Library. That's in Hennepin County, in Minnesota, in the USA, on planet Earth. At Franklin Library, we always start story time out with this song. See if you can recognize it. Did you recognize it? Did you did you guess hello friends? Did anybody guess good night ladies? Same melody, different words. Let's sing it together. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome. Uh, there's somebody I want you to meet. This is Teddy. Teddy is my imaginary child, and he is here today to help with family story time. What's that, Teddy? You're bored! But, well then, I guess we are just going to have to play the board game. You might like this. In the board game, what Teddy and I do is we brainstorm on a list of possibilities for activities that we can do while we are staying safe at home. So Teddy came up with bake cookies, and I wrote the words, and Teddy drew the picture of a cookie. And then I said, well, let's read a book. And Teddy drew a picture of a book. And then I said, then, then Teddy came up with bird watching. Teddy, that's a great idea. The only trouble is I, I don't know very many birds. I've got an idea. We can call one of the libraries that is open for curbside pickup, and we can ask them to check their shelves for some books on bird watching. And then we could go pick them up, and we could learn all about bird watching. That would be wonderful. Then I came up with fold laundry. Kids love helping out around the house. It makes them feel important. And then Keddy said, fly a kite. That's a pretty good kite there. Then I said, hey, let's play name that tune. I can use the practice. Now, at this point, you might want to pause the video and confer with your child, child or children and, and come up with your own list of things to do while staying safe at home. And you too can play the board game. So pause now. Or don't. We'll be back. We're back! So Teddy and I voted on this list. Now, how many items do we have here, Teddy? We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six items. So we are each going to score those items, and you can choose one that you want the most to do and give it a six. And what you choose the least to do gets a one. Then we're going to add them up and see who wins. So, Teddy and I scored. Teddy really, really wanted to bake cookies, so he gave it a six. I really didn't, so I gave it a one. I really wanted to read a book. Teddy gave that one a three. 
we both wanted to bird watch, so we got two fours for bird watching. Teddy didn't like the idea of folding laundry, and I didn't like it that much either. But Teddy really wants to fly a kite. He gave that one a five. I gave it a two. I just don't want to go off and buy a kite. Teddy, you only gave a one to name that tune? Teddy, I thought you liked that game. No, maybe not today. Anyway, so then we add them all up and we get a total. And we figure out which one has the biggest number. Teddy, can you find the biggest number? Teddy is just starting to learn his number. So which one is the biggest? I see a nine, Teddy. Can you find it? I think a nine is the biggest number. Do you see it? Yes, right there. What are we going to do? What's that a picture of? We're going to read a book. Oh, I am so excited, and I have the perfect book for everyone today, including you, Teddy. You said you wanted to fly a kite? Well, the book that I have is about flying a kite. Someone bigger. You'll like this. So I'm going to put on my glasses, take out my book, and we're going to read, read, read. And we're going to look, look, look. Then I'll take off my glasses and I'll what? shut the book. Someone Bigger. Written by Jonathan Emick and Adrian Reynolds. And, oh, oh, they're making a kite. They didn't go to the store. Well, maybe we can try this, Teddy. Let's see. Oh, you know, I just want to mention this. Something I really like about this book is it has rhymes in it. Do you know what a rhyme is? A rhyme is when a word... Two or more words end in the same sound. Teddy and I sometimes play the rhyming game. And here's how it goes. I say, park. And Teddy says, dark. Teddy says, blue. And I say, shoe. My turn. I say, mouse. Teddy says, house. Teddy's turn. Teddy says, Teddy, there is no rhyme for the word orange. That's not fair. Let's read the book. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They made it large and they made it light. Did you hear the rhyme? They made a kite. Not only was it large, but it was light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then Dad let go and he launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight, while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and it pulled Sam's dad off. Oh, up into the sky. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. 
and the kite flew up above the town, where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail, a bank robber, escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse. A bridegroom and his bride, of course. But all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. You see Sam in the picture? Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. And then, by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed that string and they held on tight. But all of them were pulled up, too. And Sam, Sam, there he is, went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. <gasps> and the flight flew on. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. And other creatures from the zoo. A tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I, said Sam? I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kind needs someone bigger. But then. Sam caught the kite. He grabbed the string and he held it tight. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one they came back down. Everyone from zoo and town. Rhino, tiger, Carrying guru, fireman, bride, and bridegroom, too. Postman, robber, policeman, horse, and last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I know I am. I'm not too small. And as you can see, this kite needs someone just like me. What do you think, Teddy? Did you like that book? He did. He liked it. What did you like the best about that book? He liked it that the boy finally got to fly the kite. Yes, the boy was actually the hero of the story, wasn't he? Well, it looks like it's just about time for us to say goodbye. So, do you want to help me out here, Teddy? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in to Family Storytime. 
The Hennepin County Library thanks all of the parents who are talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing with their children every day during Stay Safe at Home. Watch for Teddy and I in the future on Music Story Hour. I think we're going to play Name That Tune. I bet you'll be excited about it by then, won't you, Teddy? Bye-bye! See you later!